Hi YouTube friends, it's Megan Tilly here from Am Soaps. Today I'm making a traditional rainbow striped soap. So it's going to be straight lines, the straightest I can make. And it's going to be purple, blue, blue, green, 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 yellow, 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 orange, orange, and pink uh, in five separate batches of one pound batter. Hope that made sense. What I found is to make the best straight stripes, I am making smaller batches of soap. So I just do one pound at a time, wait about 10 minutes, then do the next pound. However, today I'm doing lots of colors, so I'm going to do in one pound batter. So here's my oils for one pound. Half of it's purple, half of it's blue. So I'll show you the first pound slowly, and then I'll speed up the last four pounds. And my topping is going to be pink, and I'm going to use the Wilton 6B piping tip, which is my favorite piping tip. I will only be making five slices of this traditional striped soap. The rest of it's going to be used as embeds for two more Happy Rainbow Soaps. And my fragrance is a blend of champagne. It's called Champagne Kisses. I put in a bit of mango and a little bit of pear. So it's a champagne fruit blend. And all, and all of those fragrances are ones that do not have vanillin, so they will not darken on me or morph the colors. So let's make the first one pound batch. We need our safety glasses. And you'll see here, I have all my colors lined up ready to go. I've got the titanium dioxide, purple galaxy mica, celestial blue mica, uh, chrome green oxide, that'll give me a pretty blue green, emerald green, yellow canary, adobe orange, and red beds for the top. I'm only making five slices, or some orange and a bit, and one purple. They're all starfish. So here's my lye water and my oils that are both at room temperature. Between 74 and 80 Fahrenheit is where my temperatures are. And I'm gonna stick blend this up just so it's blended, not too much. This is two cups of batter. I'm gonna put one cup in this container. And that will be set aside. That's going to be the blue one. And this is going to be the purple. Now, I don't like the dark, dark purple. So I'm going to add a bit of white to the purple galaxy mica. I just don't like the look of dark, dark purple. But if you don't add enough purple, it looks gray. So I think a way to fix that for me is a bit of white to offset how dark this mica is. This is exactly what I wanted. Add the fragrance to this. Okay, so. This is my purple, first layer. I'm just gonna pour it in, it's still nice and fluid. I really like the Champagne Kisses because it does stay nice and fluid. And to me, I think that that's what a rainbow would smell like. Who would really know what a rainbow would smell like? Once I was walking home from school, this is from high school, so it's a longer walk than grade school walk. And there was a rainbow, and so I walked towards it, but I never got to the rainbow. And then I've always wondered, I thought, well, maybe I was actually, maybe I did get to the rainbow. And maybe when you're in a rainbow, maybe you can't see it anymore. Is that, who knows, right? So I want to have a bit of a delay. Here's the first layer, right? The purple. Here's my blue that I'm gonna mix up. I'm gonna wait a few minutes to stick blend this blue. 
Um, I actually don't even think I need the stick blender. Look, the mica's mixed in well. Another thing I've also been in is a lightning storm with no thunder. And after that happened to me, I went online to see if that's happened to anyone else. And there were a lot of comments from people saying that that is absolutely, totally, scientifically impossible. You cannot have lightning without thunder. But I was in a lightning storm without thunder. I was. And the vehicle, I was driving, and the vehicle was so electrically charged that the, there was flashes of light going through the console, like where the, the radio is. And it was crazy. I just kept driving and I didn't touch anything but the steering wheel because I could, like, the vehicle's electrically, electrically charged. <laughs> and, uh, and there was no thunder. There was no thunder. I could hear nothing. Just lightning all around me. So my thoughts was that I was actually in the eye of the storm. I, you, you know, can it be that when you're in the middle of it all, you don't hear the thunder? Maybe. When you walk into a rainbow, do you actually see the rainbow? I couldn't smell the rainbow, so that tells you the rainbow could smell like anything. I've decided it smells like champagne. It's my layer underneath setting up, and I'm going to give this five minutes. So I'm going to actually pause this and come back in five. So it has been five minutes, and this purple layer is really quite solid. So now it's time to mix up the other half of the one pound batter with the blue. Here's my blue. And I'm gonna pour over this, this spatula just to break up the energy so we don't break the layer below. And I'll just go like this to move it around and level it out. So that is one fifth of the loaf. Next is green, blue, and green. I want at least five minutes between each pour to let this totally level and kind of set up a bit, but not too much time so that they won't stick to each other. I don't want to when I cut it, find that some of it breaks apart from the rest. So from now on, I will speed up my mixing and pouring, and then I'll see you at the cutting.
Hi friends, it's the next day and I'm going to cut just these five slices off of my soap. Now I've done something silly. I put a purple heart in this loaf, intending it to be just for these slices down here. And look, I piped the wrong end. There's the heart, <laughs> right there. So this is the third loaf of soap that I have missed getting my signature heart into. And that doesn't mean that I heart you any less, it just means I'm absent-minded these days. I'm very busy. Let's see. Okay. I'm doing a new job at work. I'm covering a mat leaf. Oh, look at me. See, I almost cut the whole thing. That's how absent-minded I am. Yeah, I'm covering a mat leaf. So, I'm doing two jobs. And... Seems to have led to me being a little bit scatterbrained. Oh, I think they're pretty. Here's the first slice with the purple stirfish. Now the topping, you probably noticed that I didn't wait long enough for it to set up. Oh, I had some breakthrough. Look, I had breakthrough there in the green. But the top ones are straight. One day I'm going to get, get, get a perfect rainbow soap. <laughs> it's all in the patience and the time. So as I was saying, I didn't let it set up enough for the piping. And there's a reason I was kind of in a hurry to get to painting. I'm painting my bathroom. And I mean, this is a long weekend in Canada, so I really need to get a lot of work done this weekend on my house. Oh, I think they're pretty. So just five of traditional. Unfortunately, the bottom stripes are not straight. Luckily, the top stripes are straight. <laughs> and in my last video, look at that pretty curl I got. Um, I, I added on the end some work. Uh, the notation says at the fall fair. And then I realized when I went to I watch every video after I upload it on YouTube to make sure it uploads correctly. And I didn't tell you any reference in that video but what all that was. So I'm going to add it again at the end of this video. And this time I'm going to tell you those were my entries in the fall fair. And it was kind of funny because some categories I was the only entry. So I won first place, but that was really by default because I'm the only one that entered. So that was the, the portrait. Yeah, that was the only one. The portraits of oil and acrylic, I'm the only one that entered a portrait. And then I did enter still life and landscape. So I'll show those to you at the end of this video. And then my new dolls I showed just for fun. So I hope that you enjoyed watching me make my traditional rainbow soap. And I'll see you in the next video. Take good care of yourself and those around you. And have a good rest of the day. Bye, everybody.